Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Mr. Simple Eats. Today we will be making one of my favorite dishes, spaghetti squash with turkey meatballs. Uh, first thing we want to do is slice the squash in half. Uh, I am using a large knife to do so. You need to be very careful as the shell of the squash is very hard. Uh, we want to avoid the knife from slipping. Uh, once we have it split open, we want to remove all the seeds and guts using a spoon. This can get a little messy, so we want to make sure you have somewhere to dump the seeds. I'm using a small bowl. It does not have to look perfect, but you want to come close enough and just remove most of the seeds. Next, we'll go ahead and add some olive oil. Now some ground pepper. And some salt. Next, we're going to take our nonstick cooking spray and we're going to spray a uh, foil wrapped baking sheet and place our squash face down on the pan itself. We're going to go ahead and place the pan in the oven for about 35 minutes at 350 degrees. Uh, next, we're moving on to our turkey meatballs. This is about one pound of lean ground turkey meat in a small bowl. Uh, I have a mix of one tablespoon of salt, one tablespoon of pepper, one tablespoon of garlic powder, and one tablespoon of paprika. We're going to also add one tablespoon of soy sauce. Instead of breadcrumbs, I went with crackers, so I took about six Ritz crackers and crumbled them up, and we're going to use that as our uh, breading, and then we're going to also add one whole egg. Now we're going to get our hands dirty and mix everything all together. Here we have another baking sheet already lined with aluminum foil and a light coat of nonstick cooking spray. We're going to go ahead and form our meatballs. Uh, we're going to make these about one to two inches thick each. Uh, this batch of one pound of turkey meat is probably going to yield about 10 to 11 meatballs. And once we have these all prepped, we're going to go ahead and pop these in the oven for about 20 minutes at 425 degrees or until they have a nice color. Our squash is now out of the oven and we're going to go ahead and remove all the spaghetti goodness. Uh, using a fork, you're going to want to scrape the sides. It could easily come apart. Be careful though, if you're doing this fresh out of the oven, it's going to be extremely hot as you can tell in this video. Uh, you're going to see the steam coming out. I would probably let it cool down for about five minutes. Um, go ahead and scoop this into a separate bowl um, as it can get a little messy. Now we're going to do the same thing for the second one. Again, let's just scoop everything out. You want to get all that goodness out. Now we have a medium pan here on medium heat uh, with a little bit of olive oil. We're going to go ahead and put our spaghetti squash in. I'm going to add about one cup of marinara here.
give it a good stir. I'm gonna go ahead and add some salt and pepper. We'll give it a good stir. Again, this, you're only gonna warm this up for about three to four minutes and then you're all done. Our meatballs are out of the oven. Now for the best part, let's plate. First we'll add our spaghetti squash. And next we'll add our crispy turkey meatballs. And there it is guys, spaghetti squash with turkey meatballs. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to leave a comment below and subscribe. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed.